Welcome to the prototype of Half Pint. Half Pint is a CVS module. Let's remove one of the capacitors, the coils, inductors. And inside here, I added a wire to the positive lead so it maintains two inductors like it's supposed to. So, the custom antenna. Supposed to be similar to the original, shorter by a lot. It's actually two coils inside each other. This thing is hot. And I'll show you that in a second. So what I'm doing is I'm testing out small, regular lithium ion batteries. These are rated to 650 milliamp hours. They're good for my usage a little under a day, so they charge. The idea behind a product like this is that you set it down in a cradle. Just like you do with your phone. It charges. Your old phone. Your landlines. Remember those? Just set it in there. It charges. It doesn't take long. They're small batteries. Duh. Performance, put it up a nice stick right here, it's an 18M tip, let's see how long it takes, there's a Sprite, two, one, take two, we're done. I'm not going to get a tick out of it. Oh, maybe well now. Let's see. Let's give it one, two, three. That works. That works nicely. This is set to very hot. So, one of the other things I wanted to show you about this little tool. The cup is actually about flush with here. This has a bottom in it. This gets hot from the tip or from the cap. What I did do is I am allowing adjustments here. If you wanted to, you can easily change this dimension by a lot. And by a lot, I mean a very little is a lot of difference in your cap. The idea behind the cap is this. The cap sits here. It heats this. So if that's the center of the heat, the heat has to travel to here and into the clicker. If it's here, now the heat has to travel from here to the clicker much quicker. Versus this. It may never get to the clicker before it burns. That's the variation. Maybe six millimeters between very tame to, sorry, you burned your load. <laughs> So, anyway, half pint. I'm proposing to put this on a circuit board. Cap, inductors of whatever kind, circuit board, and then battery clips to hold the batteries. All in one simple thing. Needs a button somewhere. I've got a very simple little button right there right now. But, seriously, once I got rid of the MOSFET switch by cutting a trace on the board, this thing just makes sense as a very simple circuit. You want to add stuff to it, be my guest. It's, a, it's directly to the gate circuit, so you can put timers on it, you can put anything you want on it. You put temperature control completely outside the board, but it's cute. It's small, it's self-powered, it's portable. It's got potential. So That's my take of half pint. I hope somebody picks it up and goes somewhere, otherwise I'll have to do it later.